city. You can talk about topics, the evaluation value of the terminal pro BNP testing for diagnosis in exacerbation acute COPD patient with cardiovascular disease, coexistent, admitted Department of Emergency uh, Medicine, please. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to give many thanks for the Scientific Committee of Vietnam Respiratory Society to give me an opportunity to, on behalf of my um, research team, present our study. Um, evaluate the value of the NT pro BNB testing for the analysis in association acute COVID patient with cardiovascular disease, coexistent admitting department of Emergency medicine. As you know, that dyspnea is the common chief complaint among the patients who come to emergency department. And the patient has the consistent cardiovascular disease and respiratory disease, especially the patient with COPD with acute dyspnea present different uh, difficult challenge in the diagnostic and management. Especially uh, for the emergency physician, they must walk through the wide differentiated diagnostic while providing appropriate in natural treatment for the potentially life threatening units. And they must control airway, proteins, and circulation and emergency clean the primary focus when they give the appropriate the, uh, the treatment. And nowadays, antiprobine B are widely used as an important biomarker for diagnose and evaluate acute dyspnea <coughs> in emergency room. But they have so many studies, but they are limited Delta and you need to get upon make difficult to guide physicians, especially in emergency doctor, in their practice, in interpretation. So, uh, because uh, my hospital is a very astute hospital, every day we see so many uh, patients, uh, elderly patients with the uh, had a problem of respiratory and um, comorbidity. Uh, uh, um, cardiovascular disease come to ER. So we met uh, this uh, study with the overall objective to evaluate the um, value of the anti B testing for exacerbation acute patient uh, admit uh, to ER. With the specific uh, objective to determine clinical and uh, paraclinical feature of exacerbation acute patient CBD admit to ER. The second is to determine the cut points of anti propene B value in the group of, uh, on this patient. And <coughs> third, we determine influence factor on uh, anti propene B value. There are so many causes that accuse the dyspnea. It's a, maybe caused by the cardiovascular disease, for example, conscientious heart failures, uh, coronary uh, artery disease, or myocarditis. And the second is the respiratory disease, asthma attacks, or um, exacerbation, CBD, or pneumonia. And in the, um, this morning, you already heard some, so many lectures about the COPD and comorbidity. And the uh, COPD and cardiovascular disease comorbidities is a common and important in COPD, such as heart fellows, arrhythmias, and hypertension or uh, ischemic heart disease. And uh, anti pro B, &B they have uh, the um, 
the, the, the synthesized by myocardium and PNB are divided from the intracellular uh, 100NA amino acids, the processor proteins, and we will uh, divide it to anti-probin B and PNB, and anti-probin B has the longer uh, half-life than PNB. <coughs> so it's uh, useful in the clean uh, when you have the, uh, the for test for the patient. Up to uh, May and 2016 to uh, uh, 12, uh, December and, uh, and, and uh, to 2017, we enrolled uh, 198 uh, uh, SSA patients to be the patient admitted to OER. Um, and we divide the three groups. The group one in the patient had the uh, acute heart failure. Um, and group two, the patient has exacerbation acute, uh, COPD, coexistent cardio, uh, cardiovascular disease. And group three, the patient only has the problem of exacerbation acute COPD only. And on our study, we received uh, some results. Um, the mean age of the patient uh, around uh, 75 years old, and the men is uh, more higher than uh, more than female 10 times. And the patient had uh, uh, cardiovascular uh, disease in medical history is about uh, 46 percent. And the, the, the prominent symptom when the patient comes to ER is uh, acute dyspnea, it's around uh, 81%. But this recent measures uh, balance uh, bet is equal between the group one and the other. Um, And for some uh, characteristics of uh, um, baraclinical, we uh, saw that the basin had the uh, atrial fibrillation is around uh, 10, uh, 18, 18 percent. And the, in the check X-ray, cardiomegaly is around 6 percent. And most of uh, the patient, um, most of the imaging in cardiomegaly is only in the group, group one, with the CT 3%. And the patient had the hyper uh, pulmonary artery pressure, uh, PIPS, is higher in the group one. The, the patient with COPD, the patient had acute with uh, acute heart failure, is, uh, had the PIPS, 33, 33 uh, millimeters mercury. And uh, anti B is uh, higher in the group one than the other. And only in the group three, we have received only uh, anti B is uh, 95 um, milligram per milliliter. And we already give some, uh, some factor influencing the value of anti pro B. Uh, the patient had the medical history of hypertension, ischemic heart disease, heart failure, atrial fibrillation, artery pulmonary hypertension, and the patient had the renal failure. And when we uh, look for the, the cut of uh, anti pro B for diagnosis and its uh, uh, exclusion, uh, acute heart failure on the COPD patient in acute. Uh, we, uh, this uh, throughout, cut up throughout is uh, three, 300 uh, milligram. And uh, the, the cut up uh, anti probin B cut upon for ruin is uh, 400. And when we divide to the uh, subgroup for, uh, for AIDS, I saw that. Uh, with the patient had uh, uh, age uh, over 75 and more, 
um, is around 814 milligram. And the patient had the uh, medical history of cardiovascular disease. Uh, it's uh, only uh, 70, uh, uh, 750 milligram. It's uh, lower than the, the uh, uh, another, um, another uh, study. In the prior uh, study, they uh, met the uh, good upon is uh, 90, and in the icon is only uh, uh, 300, 300 milligram. We saw that uh, in the prior to art in the icons, uh, the, the number of COBD is lower uh, in the two group, acute heart failure and non-acute heart failure. And in my, heart, in my uh, study, because the most of our patients had the over 75 years old, so I only mentioned about the age of subgroup um, with the, the uh, good of 75 years old. And I, we, 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 uh, we saw uh, that uh, Antiprobin be good point for the differentiated acute deep knee caused uh, by acute heart failure in exacerbation. Uh, acute COPD causes uh, cardiovascular disease is uh, uh, is only uh, 700, 750 milligram. Um, when this use it, we already. Uh, um, with the sensitivity of 100%. For the inclusion, uh, in my study, uh, we enrolled an exclusionary rule out cut upon of anti pro b for the patient had the acute heart failure on the patient uh, acute, uh, exacerbation acute COPD uh, is uh, 300 milligram. And uh, the curse upon for the rule out with the basin which had the co assist the cardiovascular disease is uh, 740, uh, 750 milligram. And uh, the um, anti BNB value to confirmatory cut upon for the patient with acute heart failure on COPD. Uh, it's a 400 milligram, and the patient had the COPD over 75 years old. The heart the the cut upon is a 814 milligram, and uh, on this study we had the age and PAPS on cardiotropin T hypersensitivity have a quick positive correlation with the anti probin V value. And uh, ejection pressure and EGFR had a quick negative corre uh, correlation with the anti probin B value. Uh, thank you for, for your attention. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. V, for your excellent presentation. and. Uh, Especially the topic is very interesting.